Hi, my name is Jesslyn. I've been teaching here um, at Health Academy for the last 20 years. I teach biology for both the A-level boards, uh, CAIE as well as IAL. Oh, my name is Lee Siu Ming. I'm teaching A-level physics at the Health Academy. And I've been teaching this subject of physics, you know, uh, since 1982. And if you uh, start counting, it's really about four decades, you know, of experience in teaching A-levels. I am Mr. Yap Sun Chai. I am the Senior Science Master and soon to be the Head of Department. I am also the Senior Lecturer in Chemistry. And I've been uh, teaching A-levels for 38 years in both Cambridge A-levels and at Excel, Pearson, IEL. Hi, I'm Seo Yeok Hock. I'm the coordinator of the Getting the Edge program, or we call it as GTE program. So this program is strategically designed to develop the student's interpersonal skills, such as uh, creative thinking, public speaking, analytical thinking, and uh, creative thinking. Well, I feel students uh, who chose to pursue their A-levels here at Health Academy, uh, they've made a brilliant decision on the choice of their foundation to their tertiary education. Sure. Well, biology is a study of living organisms. And uh, here, the A-level syllabus, we cover a wide array of biology aspects ranging from animal and plant morphology and physiology, uh, to the study of the environment, which is called ecology, as well as the study of microorganisms. Well, physics actually is a, what you call a lifelong learning subject. In fact, if, uh, if you look around us, you know, everything around us is actually based on the, you know, the, the, the principles of physics. The, you know, even when you walk, it involves Newton's laws of motion. You know, uh, you look at the cars running, you look at the light things, and now with your mobile phones, all this actually, without physics, they won't be possible. So you can see that, you know, it, and the developments in physics, you know, throughout uh, decades has been phenomenal. You know, the, the, the advent of uh, technology, the internet, the, now we're talking about 5G, and all these are made possible actually with the, you know, the study of physics. Chemistry, oh, very interesting subject. It's the middle subject between physics and biology. Through chemistry, right, through chemistry itself, we can learn aspect of physics and a lot of biology. You can't do, you know, there's some, some parts of chemistry which is called physical chemistry and you also have biochemistry. So this subject is relevant in both physics and biology. And by the way, chemistry itself Right now, in this type of situation, especially in COVID-19 outbreak going on, chemistry is used widely in a lot of research, okay? So it's a very relevant subject. Well, biology is a very interesting subject. And those students who actually love biology, they have a passion for biology, they have several career options available for them, uh, including health and medicine, biotechnology, microbiology, environmental conservation, forensic science. Well, this is just to name a few. Well, uh, actually, uh, it was a misconception. It's actually a popular misconception to think that physics is actually meant for students who embark on a career in engineering or a physics-related career such as the nuclear science. It is wrong. In fact, physics is actually meant even for the lay, lay person, as I say, you know, you, you, you want to, you know, to know how things work. By learning physics, you actually uh, sharpen your, you know, your, 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 your analytical skills, your quantitative reasoning, you know, you become more objective. So these are skills that actually goes beyond the area of physics. In, uh, in Help Yourself, the chemistry itself, we offered two A-levels. One is Cambridge A-levels and the other one is uh, International Advanced Levels. Chemistry. In Cambridge A-levels, we teach all the skills required for an A-level exam. No problem. We have all the apparatus, we have everything, you name it, we have it. In International Advanced Level, we teach the student to be a chemist. In other words, a student with nothing on there, by the end of the A-level chemistry itself, 
they can actually make drugs, all kinds of drugs. All right, they are trained to be there. Their skills, uh, the skills will be like a chemist. So after this program, the student will be able to present themselves in the situation. Yeah, and uh, the student will be more confident during the interview. The bio labs here at Health Academy, they are very well equipped, equipped with all the required apparatus and the chemicals. In this video, one of the many practicals can be observed. Plant extracts such as garlic, mint, ginger, as you see it's being crushed in ethanol and we are going to see the effects of these plant extracts on the growth of bacteria. Our bio labs are well equipped with sophisticated binocular microscopes, uh, microscopes that are fitted with a camera, we've got thermostatically controlled water baths, calorimeters, stage micrometers. Well, one thing I can assure you, students will not leave this place feeling deprived of a fulfilling practical experience. Well, uh, in fact, uh, students and parents who come to visit our labs are generally very impressed with what they see. You know, uh, our physics labs are well equipped, and this is to ensure that students is able to use the latest technology in the field of science education. And these devices actually enable experimental data to be acquired more quickly, more accurately, and more efficiently compared to the traditional methods you know, that involve analog devices which are actually more time-consuming, less efficient, and also more susceptible to human errors. The physics lab actually yeah, is very interesting because as a senior science master, I'm also in charge of the physics and also of the biology. Because I have gone into the physics lab and I saw them playing around with lasers. We designed it according to the lecturer's specification, that means my specification, and not the contractors. The chemistry labs are built for safety in mind. If you have come to our lab itself, you can see all the safety. Like for example, uh, what we have is the shower, the acid shower. We also have exhaust system in the ceiling itself to remove a lot of toxic fumes if it will come out. We have fire extinguisher, we have fire blanket, we have first aid kit. All this first put into place. Then, of course, separation between the tables. The, the, the lab must be well lighted so everything can be seen clearly. The apparatus uh, which we have are the normal glasswares besides the, uh, how I say, the uh, water bath which we actually, actually bought it from uh, Germany, very expensive. The oven which we have for, and then of course we have all the distillation of apparatus and so on. So chemistry is ma mainly glassware. And of course, all the chemicals which we buy is all from UK and from Germany because they are of the utmost purity. Uh, we tried before to buy from other countries, but they do not fulfill our standard. Our standard requirement here is quite high because we are doing A level. For example, in organic chemistry, all right, in organic chemistry, all right, and then for all kinds of experiments, we have all the type of apparatus which you normally don't find in the uh, in in uh, normal school labs itself. Like for example, we have apparatus which can just instantly determine the boiling temperature or the melting temperature, all right? And it's all very high-tech. We have an uh, instrument which is able to determine the, what type of uh, light we're allowed to pass through and so on. Besides the data loggers and what they've been telling you, the computers which we have, in chemistry lab itself, we have, you name it, we have it. From distillation to refluxing and to all the different types of glassware that's required. I think most of you have seen shows, right? Same shows where they show to you how the forensic science, for example, is chemistry, forensic science. How they detect this, detect this compounds, that compound, this compound, and they relate it to which crime and so on, and they can get evidence for that. It's chemistry. So it's very, very interesting. We have been awarded a uh, Center of Excellence by Pearson and Excel. And also our students have been winning uh, World Awards for, for Chemistry, Biology and Physics. All right? So our science itself, itself is very, uh, very well known in, in, among the A-level boards and um, it also among the general community in Malaysia. Okay? So our reputation is there. As a side note, I would like to 
how to say, tell students. We know that a lot of uh, students who went through, for example, homeschool students, who love to, do, who, who are science students, and they, they actually haven't done a single practical in their life. Our science labs is meant for them. They come over here, they'll be trained from the basic up. So by coming to, to, uh, to help itself for science, they'll be getting, actually doing their first practical in their, some of them the first practical in their life. And of course, we have all the basic apparatus and from there on to the most advanced apparatus. So by the end of the course, they can be considered themselves as a scientist. So we started to participate in Malaysia Tourist Science Foundation Science Education Award competition since 1995. Since 1995 until 2019, we have won a total of 26 awards. And uh, I've won seven of them. Mainly uh, is actually physics, teaching physics. So, uh, and in total, actually I've won four champions, two runner-up and one consolation. And this award is to recognize the science teachers in terms of their creative teaching in science. So we develop teaching models. So in help, normally we will engage the students to work with us to develop the teaching models. And students will gain different kind of experience rather than their textbook. So they will have their hands-on experience. Yeah, for those students, they haven't got their results for the SPM or IGCSE. Actually, they can join the GTE program with us 